Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Road Trip Adventure Rebooted, and uh, today we are all the way up here in White Mountain. Now, if you saw episode one and you're like, whoa, what the hell happened? We did a live stream after episode one for like three hours, and uh, we got a lot of progress made, so that's why we are all the way up here. Uh, the live stream is uploaded. It's in the, if you're having a hard time finding it, it's in the playlist for this series. That's probably the easiest way to find it. Um, so you guys can check that out. It should have a live chat replay and everything so you can see what was happening in the chat. But, um, yeah, that's why we're up here now. So, um, the big thing is that we got, we completed all of the C races, um, with a good enough positioning, we got first every time, um, that now we have a B license. So, we already did, White Mountain here is the first rank B, um, well, doesn't have to be the first rank B one. It's the first city that doesn't have a rank C track. So, we've already done that one. Now we've got to head back to um, Peach Town and get some better, get some uh, results on the, the da -da 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 brain. Uh, B track, B rank track in Peach Town. Um, but first, we're going to head to my city because we've done a lot more here as well during the live stream. So, my city is actually, I don't know, we didn't even know about my city uh, before the live stream. I forget that, like, when we started the live stream, we were still in Peach Town. So, a lot happened. I mean, really, the best way to sum it all up is to just watch the live stream. And I know it's a long, like, three hour thing, but, um, you know. If you guys want to be ready for live streams, too, make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications on. There's a the little bell icon, it should have, like, little wave looking things next to it. Um, so yeah, little, little like semicircles next to it, and that's how you know that you'll get notifications. So, looking at tires here, we're gonna want we're gonna want some HG racing tires, but I only need one for me. I'm not too worried about my friends there, my teammates yet. Um, I would love to get some better like other parts, but they don't really have anything yet. So the tires and the engine we have. Uh, those two things put together should be more than enough for the time being. So let's actually just go ahead and warp straight down to Peach Town. And let's go ahead and uh, change our parts out. And we're going to want to go with HG Racing for this. We have our RS Magnum engine, uh, all of our other good stuff, best stuff that we can get, really. Uh, so let's see, Richard, you got off road, that's not going to work. Let's go with Racing for you. And then, what else? Hold on. Racing, Blue Max, and you're going to want the power transmission. I know I'm kind of leaving Butch out, to, out in the wind here, but um, I figured uh, if I stack one teammate really, really heavy, then maybe he'll do well and earn me some money. There's no point in splitting the good stuff between both of them if both of them are still going to do bad. So... Peach Raceway Rank B. Now, when you get into Rank B races, of course, all of the AI get much tougher. So, yeah. Just, you know, be ready for that. They're gonna take off like rockets. But so is everybody. Everybody gets faster. Um, well, hopefully you are too, but that's why you gotta be able to get some money and get new parts. Oh my gosh, look at how good these tires are. I can just stick right down to the high line. Ugh, Richard is still falling back. I don't think his engine is good enough anymore. Probably need to get him a new engine at some point. Why, well, hello, Diaz! Ah, dang it. That was a bad turn on my part. Oh my gosh, these tires are amazing! Well, they're they're great on on pavement. If uh, if you get off road even a little bit, they're you're in trouble. Come here, Diaz. I'm gonna win this race, man. It's gonna happen. Just let it happen. See you later, dude. I have amazing tires and a good engine. See you later, bruh. And it looks like I am faster than him in a straight line, so even better. This is where the game really starts to feel like a proper racing game, because you're not just like crawling around the track anymore. You're like, you're really moving. Um, you've got good tires and you can stick right down. You're not like around all of the turns, you know? Um, so it starts to feel like a real racing game now, which is awesome. <laughs> all right, there we go. Shit, how was the race? That was wonderful. 
I did have the right parts. My teammates, on the other hand, well, not my fault. Um, <laughs> okay, so, there's the rank B race in Peachtown now. So let's head over to Fuji City, let's see what they got. I'm um, trying to see, I'm trying to remember. Okay, it's Temple Raceway. Um, thinking, I'm thinking, hmm, off-road tires, maybe? Let's go with off-road tires. It's my HG off-road tires. Let's see, off-road three, off-road four, roads four on both of those wet roads, which we weren't really, we won't really be dealing with. Uh, okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, go back. Go back. Go back in the building, you crazy son of a gun. Ah, reverse. Thank you. Okay. Let's try that again. Race. Temple Raceway, rank B. So this is actually going to be a different track than the last one that we did here in Fuji City. And this one, I think, is harder. Um, the ground is less consistent. There's uh, some off-road parts, there's some on-road parts, and you get a, you know, I'd say go with the off-road tires for the most part, because the off-road tires may not be ideal on pavement or on roads, but they're better than the off-road tires are better on roads than the racing tires are off-road. Does that make sense? So, if you're gonna have to sacrifice anything, I'd go closer to the middle ground. Because you can see this is all off-road right here, and you don't want to be, you know, you're not gonna have a good time going through that part if you're uh, if you're using the, the racing tires. This I don't think counts as wet tires because it's all underwater, so it's everything is slow, but And back to off-road stuff, and then back to road stuff. You can really feel it change too. Like as soon as your, as soon as your tires hit the pavement, you're already going, you know, better than you were. Even even with these off-road tires, you're already turning better than you were a second ago. So. I'll go around this side. I don't care if I have to. If it's faster for me. Yeah, hi. Hi! Do you mind? Hey, jerk. I'll remember that. Will you get out of my- why are you trying to turn right so bad? Get out of the way, dude. Hey, hey, hey. I'm getting stuck on this stupid white van here. Get out of my way, man. Nope, stop it. I'll lose them on this turn, though. They tend to get stuck over here. At least for a moment. Or I'll get stuck too. All right. Well, dang it. I handled that turn much better last time. I think I was going slower last time, though. Ah. Dang it! Get off of me. It's when they run into me that I have problems. Cause then they block me and stuff. Oh come on. Ugh. Go. This is always a hard track for me. Even when I have good stuff, it's just it's a hard track. For me, anyways. Ugh, there we go. There are definitely certain parts where you can really try to take advantage of the AI, because you know that they're just going to be really bad. This is kind of one of those spots here. If you can make this turn and they can't, there we go, like that, then you're in a much better spot. There we go. I figured we would win that one, but I knew it wasn't going to be easy. And of course those two are not, you know, in the running at all. <clears throat> and there we go. Very nice, very nice. How was the race? That was good. Um, let's see, that's all for the rank B tracks here. We'll get to the fun roleplay stuff. Uh, well, not roleplay, but you know what I mean. We'll get to the fun adventure stuff as well. There's lots to do in this game. But for the moment, I really like doing the racing. The racing is fun. I think this place has two rank B tracks, right? Yes, it does. So Desert Raceway and Night Glow Raceway. Let's start with Desert Raceway, since we still have our good off-road tires on. I could have put them on my teammates, but their engines are so bad, it really doesn't make a difference. We also have a lot of money, as you may have noticed. <laughs> we have SOME MONEY! That'll be a reference to the live stream. You'll get it as you get closer to the end of that. <laughs> Eh. 
Rich is doing better. I don't see where Richard is. Oh, he got stuck in the wall, I guess, because he's way back there. You're not Diaz. Where's Diaz at? What the hell? My turning wasn't working very well there. You are not doing good this race here, buddy. Did I put it on rank B? I'm pretty sure I chose rank B. Didn't I? I must have, because when I was doing this on rank A, my teammates were doing much better than they are right now. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where Diaz is. Um, I don't know why they're so much slower than me. I think on the Temple Raceway, a big part of my problem was I was getting stuck on like everything. I was having a hard time with traction, but again, on that track, it's uh, it's about half and half off-road and pavement. And if you go with the HG Racing tires, you do not want to be caught out on dirt. We'll see an example of that actually in the next race. Perfect example of that again. Um, but I feel like the next race is easier than Temple Raceway. And uh, we'll see why here in a minute when we get back to it. Go, 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 go. Step on it. Oh, come on now. Richard. Richard, I'm about to lap you. I lapped my own teammate right before the end of the race. Come on, Richard. What are you doing, man? <sighs> yeah, their engines, their engines are not good enough. But I don't want to spend the money to upgrade their engines because it's going to be really expensive to do that. How was the race? It was great for me. Um, okay, let's see. Let's change parts here. We're going to go back to our HG racing tires. And then we're going to go to Night Glow Raceway. Now, this is mostly pavement. There's a brief, like, off road section, but it's mostly pavement. So, hence why I'm going with the racing tires here. I can kind of manage myself through the off-road part if I just, like, go slow and take it easy, you know? What in the hell? <laughs> that's, like, over there on the left, it's kind of a shortcut, but it's not really that much faster because there's you got to go through a lot of, like, sharp turns and stuff, and so it's, it's really not a huge help to go through that. So, yeah. I don't even remember where it brings you out, but it's not... Oh, wow, Richard. You're doing great, buddy. Oh, because he has racing tires and they don't. Which means this is what's going to happen here. Yeah, so this is the off-road section. And as you can see, if you just kind of go slow, take your corners... Now you can use drifting to your advantage. I said uh, during the live stream that there's not really a handbrake or any kind of drifting in this game. The only time drifting can really be useful is in a time like that. Where you've got, you know, some S-turns, and you're sliding around because you don't have great tires, drifting can actually help you out. But again, there's no dedicated hand brakes. You just gotta kinda freehand it, so to speak. You know what I mean. You gotta freestyle it with the drift in a little bit. So, since I'm way the hell out in the lead, I guess I'll show you guys the quote-unquote shortcut here. But as you can see, it's not that much faster because there's a whole bunch of sharp corners. And it's really not... Yeah, it's not a huge advantage, to tell you the truth. You're going to end up hitting all these walls and stuff, and then you just end up right here. So, hooray, I guess. Sometimes the AI take it. Like, you can see there's one in there right now. But I don't I don't ever usually bother. I don't feel like it's any faster. Maybe it is, I don't know. But I, I, don't, I don't feel like I need it. <laughs> I don't think it matters. Um, you see how, how far out in the lead we're, we are right now. So, yeah. Yep, not even worried about it. Go this way. Ugh. Ugh, I need better steering is what I need right now. My tires are good, but I need steering. Right now I can only steer so hard. This is also one of the longer tracks in the game. But it is one of my favorites too. I think it looks really cool. Um, and it's fun to it's fun to play. There's a lot of nice long sweeping turns and stuff that are just fun to get around. The little off-road section where I get to be a drifty boy for a few seconds is fun. Even if it means I gotta slow down a little bit, but that's fine. As you can see, if done right, this is not 
this particular spot is not too bad with the racing tires, just because it's S-curves and you can navigate those almost in a straight line, um, so to speak. You know what I mean. But back on Temple Raceway, it's it's more convoluted off-road sections with like actual obstacles and stuff. So, yeah. And there we go. Much better. And there's Richard. He's in 12th. That's not bad. Um, he's got the tires for the pavement, you know, parts, but he uh, he gets lost in the in the dirt over there. So. And there we are, Night Glow Raceway. So yeah, that was a race. Great. Huzzah. Um. Okay. Next, let's go. Let's go to the da -da 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 -da, um uh, Chestnut Canyon. Yeah. We're gonna put our off-road tires back on here. It's the off-road engine. Yeah. Uh, Richard, your tires. Off-road. And Butch, you still have off-road tires. Okay. And okay. Let's see. Rank B, Lava Run Raceway. Oh wait, that's a lot of uh, pavement actually. Oh gosh, now I have a decision to make. I think um, I think I'm gonna go with racing tires. Uh, and uh, I'll leave them with off-road tires. Lava Run Raceway, Rank B. Let's do this. Wait, it's, uh, no, it is off-road. I was wrong. Crap. I thought the middle lane was pavement, but it's not. This is pavement over here. I think. Maybe it's not. No, this doesn't count as pavement either. Oh, boy. I done messed up. I gone done messed up. Let's see if we can make something out of it. I doubt it, but... Let's see. Oh, gosh. I thought the middle lane was pavement. I misremembered. No. No. Crap. Good thing I have an awesome engine to keep up with these guys despite my god-awful traction. My traction is only really coming into play in the form of acceleration. Like, it takes me longer to get up to speed, um, but my top speed is still higher than these guys. Ah, here we go, pavement section. Now I should be able to catch up. Hello, everybody. Oh. Nope. Out of my way. Diaz. I'm coming for you, Diaz. Here, man. I'm gonna win this race, despite my bad tires. You just watch me. Ow. Yeah, he can turn so much better than I can right now. Go, 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 go. Gotta get, gotta get caught up to him. Go, 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 go. Dang it, Diaz. Come back here. still out in front of me. And he's going to get a better lead now that we're out here. Okay. You can hear my tires are really struggling to keep it together here. Come on, Diaz. Oh, physics. What the hell? Go, 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 go. Uh. Go, man. Move, move, move. Oh, I don't know if I can pull this off. I think we'll still get credit for the license, but I'd like to do better than just bare minimum, you know? I know. I see why no one goes this way.
Go, go, go. No, that was my only chance. Aw, oh, man. Crap. Ugh. And that's what that's what happens when you don't have good tires. Well, I'll still get second. It'd be, it'd be an okay amount of money, I guess. Uh, let's see. Um, 1,200. Okay, not bad. Uh, not good. Um... Did it count, though? Do I have a little asterisk next to that? Yeah, it counted. Alright, whatever. I'm fine with that. Okay. So. We only have one more race to do before we have to go to a new town. So. Real quick. Well, I guess we'll leave it for next time. But next time, we're actually gonna not do racing, I think. And, uh, well, might do one race. But, we're gonna do some adventuring in the next episode. So for now, that will do it for this episode of Road Trip Adventure. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.